Today is August 13th, 2017, and this originally started out to be a left-handers international day event, and I just figured I couldn't really get a good enough turnout if I totally made it left-handed, so I decided to turn it into a non-profit awareness day event, and I was able to get 17 non-profits to join together to raise an awareness of each other's mission and it was resounding success and we intend on doing it again next year. I brought my left-handed wall of fame here, some left-handed uh, implements, keyboard, and I also brought some stuff that's hard for left-handers to use. And I have my Southpaw soundtrack playing in the background. So when you guys are doing you want to sign your name on the white paper here so we know how many people are They have about 94% of every dollar going into food and education service that they provide. So we're really pleased to be here today and um, we are all about stamping out hunger and uh, providing for our community as long as there is hunger. So uh, come on by to the event. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I work the Wheel to Walk Foundation and we purchase medical equipment for kids with disabilities when the equipment's not covered by insurance. So anything from therapy tricycles to mobility chairs, adaptive strollers, adaptive car seats, um, anything that's not covered by security. Oh yes, I'm Jim, I'm with Dreaming Zebra, and we provide art supplies to underprivileged kids both here in Portland, around the United States, and also in about four different locations around the world. Um, currently we're sending stuff to Kenya, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Africa, Costa Rica. Um, we've sent a bunch of stuff to Haiti every year. I don't know if we'll do it this year. Um, we've got some other programs that we're looking at, so we don't know. Sent kids or sent our supplies to um, the refugee camps in Syria. And we're you know, talking about our international programs. Here in Portland, there are a lot of underprivileged schools, meaning Title I, meaning kids who are on poverty level. And you, you know, you wouldn't think it, considering Portland is considered a wealthy community, but there are others, even um, in five miles from this So the thing that we that why we provide art supplies is in the budgets of schools as they wax and wane, one of the first programs to get cut is art supplies. And when it comes to poor schools, they have almost no budget for art supplies at all. Same thing for music. And Portland just passed a recent tax five years ago for provide am I going too long here? <laughs> they they uh, passed a tax for um, to provide art education, but it was to pay for teachers and not any art supplies for the schools. So we've been inundated with, uh, with requests from schools to provide our supplies. Um, we help indirectly through like the program. The teachers basically walk into the program and pick out the art supplies that they need, which we provide for them. Uh, you know, we're an organization that you really don't hear about because we don't make our presence known. We just provide the other organizations. So recently, through the generosity of a Portland donor here, 
we provided music and art supplies to kids who were in McLaren who had absolutely no practical programs whatsoever. These are people who actually, it's documented that they will respond very well to programs where they learn about themselves and they learn about skills that they have if they're able to do art. Um, couldn't think of a better way to apply the application of art supplies than to give to prisoners who clearly need it. We're really excited about it. Alteris is a nonprofit medical career college that includes four programs medical assistant, medical billing and coding, massage therapy, and pharmacy technician. All of our programs are between eight and nine months, so it is very short. And then financial aid is available. We have um, the FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid to qualify, as well as our scholarships and our grants to qualify. We have been in Beaverton for about 15 years. We just changed our name from Everest Institute to Alteris Career College because we're now um, nonprofit and have been for almost two and a half years. We are small, so very comfortable to come in. We know you by name, and we would love to have you come for a tour. My name is Mike McCarroll. I'm the Director of Operations for the Returning Veterans Project. And we provide free mental health and somatic services, such as like acupuncture, chiropractics, massage therapy, and naturopathic medicine to post-9-11 war zone veterans and their families. And uh, last year, we provided over 4,500 hours of services to over 400 veterans in Oregon. I'm for having this out today. And congratulations on a fantastic uh, first event. It's first annual event here. It's been uh, quite popular, and we've got a lot of great responses. So thank you again for everything you put together today. My name is Trevor Parker. I'm representing the uh, Portland Community Tool Bank today. And one of our biggest impacts we're really trying to do is to increase impact and decrease costs. Portland uh, metro area is really heavily, the community is really bent on community service, volunteerism, and community activism. And that's really where our nonprofit comes in to be. We're the one nonprofit that helps all the other nonprofit organizations in the area. So as nonprofits need volunteers, they need tools for whatever their outreach programs are, we provide those to those that have a discount for loaning them. Uh, to those nonprofits to be able to do their job more effectively and efficiently as possible. So, a wide variety of tools that we have, that's really what we have the ability to do. So, please come check us out at portlandtoolbank.org. Thank you. Vibration 
the help of the quantum shift, the collective consciousness, where everyone kind of just, you know, wakes up and realizes that it's better to be more peaceful and unified and more of a sharing mentality than, you know, too much selfish, like, capitalistic stuff. So, anyway, it's kind of all over the place. Also, planting community gardens, superfood trees in, like, third world countries, stuff like that. Well, at least second and third world countries. So, you know, it's just... A compilation of positive stuff, but uh, sunshineawakening.org is the website, or the Sunshine Awake on Instagram. That's where often the most frequently updated content is. Anyway, and, uh, so the Founders Clinic in Oregon City is ran by all volunteers, and we offer medical and eye care there, as well as referrals if it's something that we can't do. So we're signing up people today to potentially volunteer for us. We are looking for uh, doctors, scribes, medical assistants, lab techs, front desk, maintenance people. Um, and then we're also seeing if you are um, 18 and older, if you're a resident of Clackamas County and you do not have insurance, uh, we can get you uh, filled out to call for an appointment. lefties and here we have represented Europeans and Nikolai Tesla the gay community is represented by Alan Turing the black community and women are represented by Oprah Winfrey and Helen Keller and then we have Leonardo da Vinci over here we have the three famous lefties of the female sect, Mary Curie, Helen Keller, and Oprah Winfrey. Here we have the king of the lefties, Leonardo da Vinci. He was six foot four, a mountain of a man, and one of the most incredible talents. Over here we have Jimi Hendrix, and he impacted the music community so much in his 10 years that he was on the scene known as the greatest guitarist of all time. Over here we have one of the Fab Four, Paul McCartney, one of the most famous songwriter singers in the industry and probably the most successful one. Over here we have 
Henry Ford, Alan Turing, and Luke Avery had the greatest 11 year run in baseball history, but was cut short with disease. And Jim Henson touched the world with his Muppets and is still going strong today. Benjamin Years Franklin out and Isaac Newton are still touching the world today. The Benjamin Franklin, the modern day library system, and he spoke six languages. And Isaac Newton helped us get to space. The left handers are amazing people and should not be held back, should not be discouraged from being left-handed. It's enough time has passed for the world to embrace the left-hander and start building stuff more. And these are my two these are my two books of poetry that I self-published. And in the background I have my Southpaw soundtrack playing, which is 50 songs by left-handed artists. And here I have a collection, my left-handed library, stemming from children's books to famous lefties to help people have a greater understanding of the left-handed equation. But what I was trying to accomplish with this nonprofit awareness day is to show people that with a little effort and with a projecting a vision of helping people that bringing this many nonprofits together can really create an atmosphere of raising awareness. Awareness is the first step to creating lasting change.